Ariel Helwani in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, alongside Steve Bosse, who was planning on fighting at UFC 186 until a New Jersey judge overturned Bellator's injunction against Quinton Rampage Jackson. And as we stand here right now, he apparently is in limbo. He does not know if he'll be fighting this weekend. All signs, at least right now, point to no. Steve, is that accurate? Right now, you're being told you're not fighting this weekend. Yeah, right now I'm not fighting, but I, I stay focused because we, we never know. Maybe Bellator will, uh, will come back to put uh, the injection on. And uh, if, 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 they do, if they do this, I come back in the cage uh, Saturday night. Are you hoping that happens? Uh, I hope so. I hope so. And uh, uh, Bellator do uh, do a big a big job to to pull out Rampage. Uh, I'm sure they will come back strong to to stay uh, to stay Rampage out. Is it true that the UFC has told you that you should make weight, you should make 215 pounds, get ready just in case something happens? Yeah, they tell us to uh, maybe Rampage can come back, but. Uh, after uh, 17 uh, april 17 18 uh, we don't think about this we we are sure to uh, to fight uh, maldonado but uh, surprise yesterday man yeah we, but what was your reaction when you found out uh it's like a, the you know put me down for sure because i'm ready to go it's a perfect matchup for me and uh, I hope uh, I hope uh, Rampage will be uh, out and I uh, take his place again. Have you or your manager talked to anyone in the UFC about this situation? Because you signed a four-fight deal, so how are they going to compensate you? We heard that they're going to give you your show money if you don't fight. Is that accurate? And will they give you another fight, you know, shortly after this date to keep you active? Yeah, for sure. UFC will uh, give me a, a fight soon, a couple of weeks. I don't know. We are we are not at this point at the at the moment, but uh, stay positive now, and uh, we never know uh, what's happened now. So, are you going to continue to get ready for Friday and still try to make 215 just in case something happens? Yeah, Joe Silva tell us to uh, to keep uh, like if I if if my fight is. Uh, uh, was on and uh, my my fight's supposed to uh, to be at 205. Mm -hmm. That's why my my I cutting weight and now I'm 220. But the fight uh, go up to 215. So uh, I stay focused and uh, we never know if uh, Rampage is there. It's okay for him, good for him. But if he if he's not there, it's, it's good for me, man. A lot of people might not know this worldwide, but you are a huge draw here in Montreal and in Quebec in general. Um, what are you hearing from your fans and the media here about how disappointed? Because, you know, to, to the fans in America or overseas, they say, oh, Rampage is back. He's a big name. But to the fans here in Montreal, you might be a bigger draw than Rampage. So what are you hearing from your fans? Yeah. Hey, uh I want to say thank you for my fans for the support. It's uh, I don't know how much uh, text on Facebook I receive. Uh, the people uh, was disappointed to to Rampage come back. So uh, it's good for me to see uh, all my fans is in back on me. To it's good for me. How many tickets do you think you have sold for this card on Saturday? I don't know. I don't know, but I, I know I'm. Uh, I'm uh, I'm good to sell tickets, but uh, I'm not uh, in contact with this. Do you regret your decision now to come out of retirement? Because last year you were supposed to debut in the UFC, and just a few weeks before you decided to retire, you haven't fought since, of course. Do you regret that decision now, putting yourself through this this whole emotional mess? No. Uh, uh, last year I, I, I was at this point in my life. I, I was uh, a couple things. Uh, uh, other uh, other part of my life was no good. And uh, it was a time to me to to just take a break, and uh, uh, and it and for my body it was good to take uh, this break. But when I come back to play hockey, because I, I signed a contract to uh, ten games with uh, Laval, mm -hmm. my, after my first fight, the the feeling inside me, the uh, the wire inside me, uh, is coming back. And after this, I I, I was a feeling okay, okay. Now I want to continue and. Uh, uh, I have a couple years uh, in front of me to, to fight. But the Maldonado fight was a perfect one for you. Like, if it was a different kind of opponent, you might not have jumped at this opportunity, plus it being in Montreal, right? Like, this seemed like a perfect storm for you to come back to MMA, right? 
Yeah, yeah, perfect matchup. Uh, he's, uh, he's, uh, I think he's 13. He's uh, in a two of high uh, class man uh, in the UFC. Uh, he's a brawler. He's a good boxer. And uh, it was a perfect matchup to, for me and uh, the, for people on pay per view. Uh, will I, I, uh, to show how can uh, how can I can do in a cage and uh, but. We never know. Maybe, maybe it's uh, it's happened. Maybe not. So we'll see. So even if you don't fight on Saturday, you still plan on fighting in the UFC in the near future, right? Yeah, sure. We uh, we signed for uh, four fights, and uh, for sure it's uh, it's gonna be in in a couple of weeks uh, to c to come back in the cage. No more boxing for now. Those plans are on the table. They're they're, they're off the table, I should say. Uh, I have a, a fight in a in a boxing match yeah. in May 22, but we don't know if I can if I can go because I, I'm a UFC contract now. Uh, I just uh, uh, my manager will talk with the, with the UFC if I can do it. Uh, me, I just stay focused and train in the gym. And what do you do for the next 48 hours? How do you stay focused in case something happens and Rampage can't fight? How do you remain focused on the task? Uh, visualization and uh, just stay ready because if Bellator come back and uh, and put Rampage out, I take the place. But I, I just want it's not easy, man. But uh, I just focus on to maybe it's my place and maybe it's my it's gonna be my fight. Thank you, Steve. Best of luck too. We appreciate the time very much. Thank you.